Right, the sun's starting to go down. It's getting close to dark. And I have received my 24 volt Meanwhile power supply. This is going to finish off uh, the power supply to the um, Dyer CO2 um, transmitter. Um, and once we get that in, I'll be able to free up that other power box I've got for my uh, lighting so I can have the rest of the lighting on on, uh, on the 24-hour uh, timer. Um, so we'll get this connected now and we'll, um, we'll show you how we go. So this is my little ventilation control board over here. Sorry, you can't see it that well. It's kind of tucked into the corner. Um, up here, I'm going to put a termination block where our power is going to come in. This is a 12 volt power supply. And right next to it is going to go my 24 volt. So we've got two power supplies here. They're both mean well. Um, the 12 volt, volt powers the fan, which pumps the air down the column. And the 24 volt is used for the Dwyer um, transmitter here which needs 18 to 30 volts or something, so 24 it is. Um, so I'll get this in now, um, and we'll, um, we can free up this, this power line here, which I've pulled. I've actually pulled it from my, um, my lighting box here, so I haven't been able to use that for my 24 volt lights. So I'll free this up, get that back on the lights, and get this here on its own um, power supply. Right, she's all connected up and going. Let's turn that off. Uh, so I've got the power running into the termination block here. And then these two power supplies down here feed off it. One's a 12 volt and one's a 24. Um, don't ask me why I've got two, but I need two. Um, you can actually hear that this fan here is on now. And the, and the time it's taken me to do that, it's probably been about sort of 20 minutes since I've been filming. The CO2 in this room has gone up to over 800. Um, so obviously it's getting really um, CO2 heavy in there. Um, so this fan's on now, which is dumping the air as it should out of there. Um, so I just keep this fan on, that's a pulse width modulator there. Um, and that controls the P pulse width modulation fan, which I've got up in here. Um, it's quite loud though. And that just slowly pushes the air over my, um, my CO2 transmitter. Um, I'll take you inside. I'll get, the, I'll get the light box hooked up and I'll show you why I was, I've connected that up and it's to free up this light switch box here and I'll just connect it up now and I'll, I'll show you. So I currently have two banks of lights plugged in. These just remain plugged in, you can turn it on and off here. But these will connect um, to my timer, my light timer which is over here. Um, so if we go in, you can see my big lights on the roof, they are quite powerful LEDs. Um, I bought those at about uh, 6,500k, so they're quite blue. Now these ones I just bought were supposed to be 6,000k, but they're not quite as blue as the other. You can see them under there. See the, the light on the top is really blue, and the ones underneath not quite so blue, but still still in the blue spectrum. Um, these just go down down run down the rows um, because if you get if you get mushrooms on top, mushrooms on the middle, mushrooms on below, um, the light can't filter through very easily I um, mean it gets quite dark under there so you can see this you can see the light being generated from the LEDs there running over all these shiitake which are just um, saying to pin here so the reason yeah that's the reason I got that new 25 volt uh, controller is to free up the power box for my lighting so I've got um these lighting lighting bars here these are just off um, Amazon the IP68 so they're fully waterproof Oh, one of the yeah big mistake I made was that's 12 volt. Let's try and get that underexposed. That's 12 volt, 24 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt. So I made a big mistake when I did that. I actually thought that was 24 volt, and I went and bought my other lights for 24 volt as well. And turns out that the top one's 12, so that's why I'm kind of half my stuff's 24 volt and half 12.